Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today I promised a video on Sky V, the goddess of winter and hunting. So, who exactly is Sky V? Well, it goes way back in the mythos to just before the events of Loki being bound, he decided he wanted to kidnap the goddess Idun, the goddess of youth who keeps the gods young with her golden apples or rather golden fruits they're not directly referenced as apples but loki decided to play a prank and kidnap Ithim. and as a result the gods started to grow very old very rapidly and of course they decided to threaten Loki, saying, hey, if you don't fix this, very, very bad things are going to happen to you of a not-so-healthy nature. So, Loki went to Freya and said, hey, I need to borrow your eagle cloak. And, of course, she was getting old, so she had no choice but to agree. So she lent him her eagle cloak, which allowed him to take the shape of an eagle. And he flew to the cave in Jotunheim, where she let, where he left, well, it's Loki, so it can go either way, but where Loki left, Ithum. And there was actually the home of a giant named Thiazi, who was rather reluctant to give Ithum back. So, the gods decided, we got no time for this, let's just kill Thiazi. And they did. So, they got Ithan back by killing Thiazi, and Ithan was back in Asgard. Now, after this, there was a Jotnar woman, the daughter of Thiazi, who came to Asgard in battle coat with weapons ready, ready to take back, or ready to avenge her father. Now, the gods, being the gods and realizing they acted so hastily, said, let's make recompense of this. They took Theazi's eyes and made them stars. Then, they said to Skavi, you're more than welcome to join the Pantheon, but, you know, you have to be considered an Aesir. So, she said, okay, we could do that on one condition. You gotta make me laugh, and I want to marry Balder. So, the gods decided to put up a curtain, and said, if you can choose Balder, then you can marry Balder. But you can only choose from the th these three gods' feet. And she ended up choosing Njord, the god of the sea. And they spent, I think it was three days in each other's abodes. And they absolutely hated each other, so they split up. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, then, they had to make her laugh. Loki did this. He tied a go to his sack and had it pull on him while he was strapped to a table. Eventually, this caused him to collapse into Skavi's lap, and she laughed her ass off. So with that, Skavi became the goddess of hunting and winter, the Jotnar goddess that we know today. Those of you who are planning on making offerings to Skavi, I did a short thing of it in the How to Pray as a Norse Pagan video, but I'll go into detail here. Skavi being the goddess of hunting, you can offer something or part of something, such as the blood or part of the meat or an organ of something that you have hunted. 
You can also do a devotional act to Skadi. A devotional act to her would be skiing. Yeah, I know it sounds interesting, but skiing. You could also hunt in her name, saying a prayer before going hunting or before actually doing the hunting while you're out in the field. And in order to pray to her in a way, again, you would have to do, it would be her name, her kenning, and then what you expect of her, as well as what you can do for her. For Skadi, it would be if you're trying to get better at hunting, or if you wanted a bountiful hunt, or if you were praying for a good winter. So let's say I was going hunting, and I wanted a good hunt, I would pray to Skadi. In order to do so, I would, I'll say I'm making an offering of a, uh, the blood of a squirrel. Okay, so it would go like this. Skadi, the goddess of winter, the daughter of Thiazi, whose eyes are now stars, I pray unto the, to you to give me a good hunt, to give me your favor. And in return, you may take the blood of this animal that I have killed in your name. From there, you can close out with a sentimental sentence if you want to, but that's not really required. So, there is Skadi. She is also referenced later on in the Binding of Loki, but only in short when she ties a snake above his head, which drips venom onto him, to keep him weak. And that is what we know of Skadi. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have me on your journey.